today's video we'll be looking at pattern ply. I'm going to show you two basic examples of styles of pattern ply that we can do. Um, I first saw a video on pattern ply about a year ago by Michael Elm. I'll leave a link below to his channel. And he just sent me this rabbit hole of different pattern plies and styles and the ways I could use it in the furniture pieces. So we're going to get started on that today. I will leave some links also to some of the items I do use. Um, I'm not endorsed by any of the companies or any affiliations with anybody else at the minute. Um, so let's get going. Now the first thing you need to do is set up your table saw correctly. I've got the stop set at 20mm to get the 20mm loops that I want for this particular style. So first thing you want to do is get all these strips, get them all laid out, flat and cramped, ready for gluing in. Okay, a good dose of glue all over everything. I use tight bonds. Two. Gonna love these little um, applicators from Rockler to get the glue nice and spread out everywhere. Make sure everywhere's covered all over. Maybe a little bit too much there. in a little tray. I'll turn the glue up. I've got to do it later this afternoon. And all you do is seems to the end grain showing up. Lay them out. Now you want to stagger these slightly because we will be doing a 45 degree angle cut as the first cut to set out after this glue up. Lay them all out. These are the parallel cuts by Borit that I use for all my glue ups. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. A few extra clamps on these smaller end bits as well. I think these are the Bessie click clamps, these ones. These are just the little Bessie squeezy EZ M, I think they are. There's plenty of clamps. Everywhere, wet cloth, wipe off all the excess, just to make your life a little bit easier for cleaning up. You can 
also go along with little Malik. If needs be. Any little high spots anywhere. That's it, just let it dry. And this is something I realised I forgot to put tape onto the actual apps themselves. And I proceeded to spend about two minutes trying to force this pattern ply off the clamps. Um, so do use tape. So next we're just going to give it a quick sand. Um, I am using the Festool Rotex 125. I have got it in gear mode just because I want to clean it up as quickly as possible basically. Um, I've got P80 grit on this particular sanding. As sanding is that boring, I'm just going to basically skip through it so you don't have to have the pain of watching me sand. So I'm just using my Festool KS60 Capex to do the first 45 degree cut here. Again, just make sure your tail saw is still set up correctly. And again, I've got this up to 20 mil rip tune strips. So this push stick has actually got a 45 degree little bevel on it to help push the piece along. You could also use the sliding table as well. So next we need just a simple cork board for doing the pattern ply. Just some oak strip that I have in the off cut bin. A bit of super glue. As normal glue will not stick as this is a MFC board. So again Normal glue will not stick to it. Put it in place. Recently, I've been using this O three A. Super glue um, actually seems to be very, very good. I'd already drawn a square line on here to reference off to make sure I got it in exactly square to the other edge. And again, just fire it on. And then on the underneath side. A small piece so it can hook onto the front edge and rest on the front edge of your workbench. Like so the last thing we need to do is just use a bit of packing tape. Um, this is just literally what I have from sending parcels out. And we just place this onto the piece you've used for the beam. So again, your glue does not stick. So you've battened that you need to keep everything square. I've done several of these in different sizes. The different size gloves that I do.
and that's it there you have it one glue board So here we're just going to wipe it over with a wet cloth again, uh, getting as much excess glue as we can up to save up and clean up time afterwards, and also press any little bits down to make sure it's nice and flat. All we need to do now is just pop it up out of the mould. Hopefully, it's too stuck. And then we're just going to give it a quick sound. I'm going to take this one step further. So that's the sort of repeat you get on the 20 mil strips. You can also do any thickness strips that you do want to do. Now, for example, this is one I did where I did a 40 mil strip um, to get a, a larger chevron pattern. But what we're going to do now is we're going to take this one step further and we're now going to cut 20 mil strips going that way along on the table saw. So I'm just going to put the first straight cut down here with the track saw. Let's take it to the table saw. So once again, make sure your saw is set up correctly. And again, we're just doing 20 mil rips across the width there, making sure you keep them all in order for the next glue. So now we've got these one inch strips to do exactly the same as before. Just gonna plenty of glue with it being in grey. And you alternate. Every piece. So there we have it. It's all glued up as before. Uh, got your clamping on there. I did use a couple of clamps just to give that a bit of pressure before I put some pins in to hold it in place. So now we'll let that dry and give it a quick sand. So that's the pattern you get of the 20mm rips in diamond form and here we've got what we did before with the 40mm rips to give you the diamond pattern. That's a pattern ply, just basic chevron and diamond pattern. I will be doing future videos to where I actually will do some hexagon, some triangular and other types of pattern ply. Uh, please leave any comments down below and thanks again for watching. Here we just have a few little styles of other ones which we will look at in the future.